my dear students let us see the flip flop excitation tables these uh, excitation tables are useful in designing synchronous counters before going for synchronous counter design we will be looking at the excitation table for all the flip flops now if at all you look uh, sr flip flop sr flip flop will be having present state q of t next state q of t plus 1 right based on the inputs s and r why it is called excitation table is we know present state we know next state but we want what what input for what excitation you will get that output sequence we are investigating for that so the possible combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 okay 1 1 what is the meaning of this present state being 0 next state being 0 present state being 0 next state becomes 1 present state is 1 next state is 0 present state is 1 next state is 0 these are all possible combinations now if you look at the truth table as we have discussed in the previous lecture what exactly is going to happen is when s when s is 0 okay when r is 1 or 0 can 1 or 0 will result in q of t being 0 and q of t plus 1 being will become 0 so this is what exactly the case now if at all you want to set the flip flop what exactly the possibility 1 0 if you want to reset the flip flop what is the meaning of this output being next state being 0 means what my my flip flop content is 0 when it is possible can you reset it what is mean by resetting 0 1 okay when present state is 0 sorry when present state is 1 next state is also 1 so this is possible when when you want to set the value or it is at 0 0 or 1 0 what i mean is when s is equals to 1 r is equal to 0 or s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 in these two cases what exactly happens is i am going to get my q of t plus 1 as 1 so r is no change so r value is 0 but whereas s it may be 1 or 0 that means doesn't matter don't care right so how i am able to tell this excitation table what we are writing here is excitation table what we are writing for any flip flop we will be getting from their truth table okay so if you are if you are good with the truth table if you are good with the truth table if you know the truth table properly one can derive the excitation table from the truth table how you can get truth table if you know what is that flip flop what is that is i mean to say name of the flip flop name of the flip flop because name itself will tell what it is and how exactly it is going to work okay what exactly that i am trying to tell is if i say sr flip flop itself is known as set reset flip flop what is the meaning of that if you want to reset it you can reset it if you want to set it you can set it now how do you set it how do you reset it if it is active high logic active high logic s is 1 which means you are making q of t plus 1 next state becomes 1 and r being 0 or if s is 0 and r being 1 this will make your next state q of t plus 1 is equal to 0 okay this is what exactly fundamentally operation is okay when s is 0 and r is 0 no change okay when s is equals to 1 r is equals to 1 there is no meaning setting and resetting invalid for that we have going we exactly what we are trying to do is we are trying to design a jk flip flop which will resolve the problem of setting and resetting at the same time okay so if you look at the jk flip flop truth table from that you can also get jk excitation table let us look at excitation table excitation table 
for what exactly I am looking for? J k. How J and K is going to behave? If I say J, it is similar to set. If I say K, it is similar to reset. Okay. So now I am having I am having J and K and uh, for that what exactly that I am trying to do is we are trying to write uh, tape. So what is that I is I have Q of T. I know Q of T plus 1. I am looking for J and K. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What exactly J and K values? J and K values are 0, 0 or 0, 1. So 0 dot K. Or this is 0, 1, 1 dot K. 1, 0, 1, 0 is exactly don't care 1. 1, 1 is don't care 0. What is the meaning of that is, if you want to get Present state being 0, next state being 1, you can get it from 1, 0 or 1, 1. Okay. Likewise, you can analyze the way we have analyzed with respect to SR flip flop, whatever we have analyzed. Same thing is applicable over here. Okay. Fine. Now, with respect to T flip flop excitation, what is T flip flop? Toggle flip flop. Where we use that? We use it for counter design. Okay. So, once again, same. Even for a D flip flop, what we need to do? We need to write QN, QN plus 1. Okay. Then, what exactly? What exactly your input? So that, for example, if I are looking at a D flip flop, let us say D flip flop excitation table. So, for a D flip flop excitation table, let us say 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1. Right. So, what is exactly D life? It is a D life flip flop. So, output is nothing but what you apply. So, Q of n plus 1 is what? Current output. Next state, this is the latest value with respect to the flip flop. So, whatever you apply, you will get the same. So, here we need to understand the D flip flop. Okay. The value stored in the D flip flop does not depend on present state. Very simple statement. D flip flop content whatever is there content does not does not depend on depend on q of t which is known as present state so always d flip flop content is okay is next state only that means whatever you give that is itself is next state does not depend on the present state so no way link it to the present state now let us look at the t flip flop how it look like for a t flip flop how exactly it will be now let us look into q of t q of t plus one what is this present state and next state and exactly t input so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now, what exactly the T value so that wherever there is no change, when T is 0, wherever there is a change, when T is 0 to 1 transition, 1 to 0 transition, this is happening when T is 1. Why? T means toggle. Toggle means it may be going from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. So, here there is a toggling happening, here there is a toggling happening that is possible when t equal to 1. Otherwise, this is 0. When, when both are same, when both are same. What is that both are same? Present state being equal to next state. What is the present state? Q of t. What is next state? Q of t plus 1. Okay. This is all about excitation tables for all four flip flops. Okay. So, when we are designing counter, we will be using t flip flop or if at all we are using jk flip flop, we will make j is equals to 1, k is equals to 1. So that it will become t flip flop. Or if at all we are using d flip flop for counter descent, 
will convert D flip flop into T flip flop and we use D as a T and from there you will get a counter operation. You will get a counter operation, right? So, this is all about excitation tables. With this, I will stop here. In the next lecture, we will look at synchronous counter designs.